Matt Roddy's over at Rockland Trust. You get to witness this with us. Um, give, give me a sense of, of whether we'll continue this, this big run here. It's pretty significant. Yeah, I mean, it feels a lot different than 1995. 1995, we were coming off three sort of flattish years. Clearly, we've had a number of years before this that were good. So this feels like a little later st cycle stage than 1995. But heck, you know, I mean, one out of three times uh, you end up in the Hall of Fame in baseball with that type of batting average. So we'll take a, what, what 2017 is, which has given us, which is a gift that keeps on giving. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a great year for, for risk assets and equity assets globally, not just here Indeed. in the United States, but uh, every, we're really up everywhere across the globe. Well, uh, we've moved lockstep with the belief that the tax plan might finally get done. And when I say we, I mean the markets. We're about to see five record closes, all the major indices. So, Matt, specifically with the Dow, because it's the Dow that has just broken that, is about to break that record with a couple of minutes to go here. Which Dow stocks will lead us higher in 2018, in your opinion? Yeah, I'd be focusing on some of the areas, quite frankly, that haven't run up as much. Uh, specifically, I think I'd be focusing on energy. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Schlumberger and, and, and Exxon at these levels. They, they certainly are in recovery stages themselves off of what happened to them in 2016 when the whole energy and commodity market really caught a flu. They've recovered quite a bit um, in their earnings and their health, but their stocks haven't recovered as much, and I think there's some value there. And, and it is really tough to find value in the market today. I, I mean, it's a lot easier to be selling stocks for me personally right, right. than buying stocks when I look at the, what, the values. Well, you buy the, buy the cheaper ones that haven't run up as much. Uh, and therefore, what names in the Dow? Again, it's only 30 stocks. We know that, but that's the story today. Do you think we'll drag down the Dow? We'll, or not necessarily drag down, just sell off a bit. Profit-taking, they've run up some much. Yeah, it's going to be a tougher uh, year to, to, to kind of continue to push higher. Um, there's certainly some technology names in, in the Dow that I'd be uh, a little bit more nervous about. Uh, you know, some of the ones I like, though, in the technology, I'd still like Microsoft here. Uh, it, hasn't, it hasn't really, I think, uh, exceeded its valuations by too, too much. Uh -huh. um, quite frankly, it's been, a, uh, it's been a year that's really hard to find, uh, you know, the value that you want going forward. <laughs> Great to see you. Matt Roddy of Rockland Trust. Guys, you are witnessing history, not just for the Dow here, but mostly there. The largest number of record closes in a single calendar year at 70, but all these indexes, they've all hit new record highs, too. That'll do it for the Claimant Countdown.